गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन अ प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द स्क्वामिस एपिथीलियम एंड स्ट्रेटिफाइड एपिथीलियम नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट क्यूबॉइडल एपिथीलियम दिस एपिथीलियम कंसिस्ट ऑफ क्यूब लाइक सेल्स व्हिच आर अबाउट एज टॉल एज वाइट द आउटलाइन ऑफ सेल इज पॉलीगोनल इन सरफेस व्यू एंड स्क्वायर इन सेक्शन एज यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम ऑल्सो The cuboidal epithelium lines the small salivary ducts, pancreatic ducts, sweat glands, thyroid glands, etc. It also covers the ovaries and line the sperm producing tubules. Now come to its function. Student, it helps in protection, secretion, absorption, excretion and gamete formation. Next is columnar epithelium. This epithelium consists of tall or pillar like cells as you can see in the diagram also okay these are much taller than white and the nuclei these red color dots are there these are the nuclei these nuclei are generally elongated along the long axis of cells the columnar epithelium lines the stomach intestine and gall bladder okay it also lines mammary gland ducts and parts of urethra and it helps in protection absorption and secretion now columnar epithelium of intestine is actually specialized for the absorption of water and digested food next is ciliated epithelium This epithelium consists of cuboidal or columnar cells that bear cilia on their free surfaces. These cilia are actually fine uh, vibratile cytoplasmic outgrowth that arises from a minute basal granules. Cuboidal ciliated epithelium lines certain parts of the urinary tubules of the kidney and sperm duct and uh, columnar ciliated epithelium lines the nasal passages and oviduct this epithelium helps in the movement of mucus urine acts sperm and cerebrospinal fluid in a particular direction now the last type of epithelium cell is glandular epithelium student this epithelium consists of columnar cells modified to secrete chemicals it lines the gland such as gastric gland pancreatic lobules intestinal glands etc 